All right, good evening, folks. Hope you're having a lovely night tonight on this fine Sunday, where, of course, we are continuing on with our Witcher 3 series here, where we are, well, in some sort of strange, weird fantasy world inside of a fantasy game, which is very strange. Let's jump on in to continuing with our Firestarter Geralt and, yeah, head back into this weird illusion of... Oh god, just all the fairy tales in the world that we now find ourselves in, which is oh boy, so strange, but <laughs> I've been having fun with it. Last uh, last episode was quite entertaining with all the various uh different stories we did encounter, including the murder of the three pigs, which got a hand it to those pigs. They were tougher than I expected, but still, but still so I'm intrigued to see how many more uh, stories we are going to encounter and just what that is all going to entail. So we are right where we left off in the previous episode. So we still need to visit the three bears, Grandmama's house, and the Longlocks, which, oh god, that name. And also, was that man just walking around in his underwear there? What the hell, dude? Weird. Weird. Before we do all that, though, I was kind of... I was thinking about this off camera. I was originally thinking when we were here last time to not go to the tower yet because I figured, okay, well, that's clearly going to be a thing we're going to do at some point with this. But I really want to go visit it now. I want to go see what that tower is. <laughs> I'm just too intrigued. I need to know. So yeah, let's uh let's get our horse, our uh, unicorn roach, and see how that is gonna pan out. Good times. Oh god, that means we're probably gonna have to fight more pixies. Uh, hello, unicorn roach. Let's ride. Also, e weasel. So what am I having tonight? You're having a bourbon old fashioned. I am actually just drinking some uh, straight scotch this evening. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, so yeah, let's head to the tower first before we do anything else because Yay, I need I need to know All right over here past the man only wearing the underwear and What the heck is this? Wait, oh what Joss said about the third beam remember in the possession of a bold farmhand deep beneath the ground Yes, this must be it. Let's go. Why are you walking that way? in the past, but I don't see it anywhere. We'll find another way up. Okay, she's still wandering that way towards the man with no clothing. Where are you going? Oh, uh, you know, I should have anticipated this was one of the things we had to do, but that's one of the problems with not being able to have a freaking map. I cannot see what the world is, so this is apparently the long lock aspect. So... <laughs> Okay, okay, let's go see if we can find a way to get up this tower ourselves. I pull myself up here, and I'll have to make that jump. Oh, that's a dead man. I shall wait down here if it's all the same. Climbing's not my strong suit. Sienna, of course it's not. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh god, I'm down, falling. <laughs> oh, and I'm, down, I'm going further down. I hate, I hate jumping puzzles in this game. I really do. Geralt is the worst at jumping. He's worse than me at jumping. Like, IRL physical. He is worse than me. <laughs> nope. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, Jay, that's what I was figuring, too. Long lock equaling Rapunzel. Oh, God. Come on. Get to a point where I can jump up for this. Okay. Oh, oh God. I'm going to go off the edge. Nope. No, I'm past it. I'm going down the son of a bitch. <laughs> I hate this. I hate this. Oh my god, that was like the perfect point. Grab the thing. There we go. Can I loot the body? Oh, that body has no head. Ooh. <laughs> I am gonna fall off of this at some point further up, and aren't I? Oh boy. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> we are gonna fall off this dang thing. 
Ooh, can I go in here? Oh, I can. Hello. Come on. Geralt, jump up the thing. There we go. There we go. I swear to God, Geralt. <laughs> There we go. All right, we're up on this floor, whatever this floor is. Oh, I don't trust this floor in the slightest. I don't trust this floor in the slightest. Ooh, rainbow. Oh, I remember that rainbow from last time. Okay. Oh, this is also the hole in the tower. Hmm. Hmm. And Je I highly suggest looking around. There is a Dark Souls reference. If there is, I wouldn't know what it is. I don't play Dark Souls. That's one of those series I avoid because it's just not my jam. <laughs> I wouldn't know the reference if it was staring me in the face. Oh, oh. Well, that is not what I anticipated. Oh, oh my. Oh, oh dear God. Oh, she's a, she's a ghost. She's a ghost. Long walks a ghost. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, Yurden. Yurden. There we go. There we go. Let's use a Yurden. There we are. Just keep on slicing them up. Keep on slicing up poor long locks. Oh, they've spawned skeletons who are very easy to kill. Oh god, oh god, come on, come on. Into the circle, please. Into the Okay, okay, a little bit more there. There we go. Yurden again. You know, this whole fairy tale land's got real depressing considering. <laughs> Freaking skeletons again. You know, you know what? Skeletons? Igni. There we go. That's much better. <laughs> there we are. Oh, God. She heals when she's out there. Crap. I didn't notice that before. Oh, God damn. Oh, God damn. Come on. Come on. Come on. Die more quickly, please. Die more quickly, please. There we go. Long Longs is dead. I'll take the gold thread. Well, not what I anticipated there. Uh, but okay, okay. Hello, loot. The yellow bean. There it is. Ooh, magic food. To climb all that way for nothing. <laughs> Take the expensive toy. Let's see what's out on the balcony. That was not what I anticipated, though, with that. Oh, boy. Come on, jump up. Oh. 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 Can I look? Can I jump from this? Can I jump down and survive? I physically cannot point the camera down more. I mean... Let's quick save. <laughs> Wee! Oh my god, yes! <laughs> oh, and straight into talking to uh, Sienna. Beautiful. What up? So? Got the bean, but long locks. Mm. Seems she got sick of waiting for a knight in shining armor. Can you blame her? Men these days, dandies and fops all. That why you cozied up to a vampire? Detlaf was a tool, and only a tool. Oh, Too rude. You didn't know that. I trust no one. Learned that long ago. Now it's his turn. So you you got up with Detlaf purely for using him? You, madam, are heartless. Aim to use him from the start, eh? To use him. Was that your plan from the start? No. At first, I was simply intrigued. Do you know the story? No. It was in Matina, a few years past. I'd gone there to pass some loot off to a fence I know. Mm -hmm. We were hashing out the terms when in walked Detlaf. He said he'd come to sell a silver candlestick. He gripped it through a cloth. That caught my eye. Oh. I followed him out, observed him from a distance. 
but he caught on quickly. Yeah, superhuman senses will do that. Yeah, they will. down a blind alley. I followed. He jumped out from behind a crate, baring his teeth. I suppose he'd wanted to frighten me. Alas, he didn't in the least. After all, I'm a monster too, am I not? I mean, not. I mean, yes and no. You have done. You have become a monster through your actions. But just because you were born under the black sun, I believe you were not born that. You did it to yourself. Granted, also kind of pushed there because of the whole black sun thing. But you know, well, what happened then? What happened then? We talked, then met up once, twice, three times. Enough that he became infatuated. Mm -hmm. I truly enjoyed it at first. But only at first. He did not love like a man, but like an animal, madly, deeply, unconditionally, wildly. Uh -huh. To return such a feeling, anyone would be hard pressed, let alone someone as twisted as I am. So there came a day you just up and disappeared. Yes, there was no other way. Let's just be friends, or I don't deserve you. He'd never have understood that sort of thing. But then, once I decided to return, clean up some old affairs, I remembered him and concluded he could still be of use. Play you with fire, that. Definitely. And either I'll get burned or I'll burn all else down. No other options. You suck. <laughs> Detloff seems to be a good guy, and you just used him and threw him away. <sighs> I don't like you, Sienna. Not afraid to meet Detloff, then? Got a history with Detloff now. So this meeting will be different. Not afraid? I can handle him. Mm-hmm. Sure about that? You look at him as a witcher and see a monster. I... I know what he's really like. You needn't worry. It's time to go. Just a bit more work and we'll be able to say sort off to this fecking fable sphere. Okay. All right, well, we have two out of the three beans, and we only have two other places to go to now. Either the three bears or Grandmama's house. Intriguing. Intriguing. Also, Jay, I have to warn you, only the weapons and armor found in this realm will return the real world with you. Ah, so, like, the magic food and whatnot I picked up won't? Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Granted, I'll probably never find that armor, because I... <laughs> I mean, uh, it seems like a lot to find. I, I mean, you, you mentioned it last time, but it's just... I don't even know where the hell we would try and look for it with it. Oh, boy. Let's go towards whatever this point is over here. This one to the south. Oh, God. Pi you know what? Screw the pixies. Screw the pixies. I'm just going to go right by you. To heck with you. Oh. Oh! Hey! Hello! We're already here. And means the pixies are probably not too far behind. You know what? They don't seem to be following. They don't seem to be following. Alright, who are you? Oh god, the bears! Okay, we found the bears. Alright, Igni. There we go. There we go. That's those, that's a dead Goldilocks there. All right. You know, that makes sense. That makes sense. All right. Burn the bears with Igni. Glorious Igni. <laughs> okay. They're all dead. They're all dead. Let's just meet. Oh, I feel bad about that because you know what? The, that story... And that story with her, I mean, the bears were the victims. <laughs> the bears were definitely the victims. She just broke into their home, started sleeping in their beds, eating their food, and they're just like, what the hell happened? <laughs> uh, oh, oh, wait, no, that was a loot. No, oh, wait, no, that was a light fire. I mean, it, it's telling me to do a thing like right here, but I'm not seeing an interact point anywhere here. Oh, it was an examine. Oh. Mm hmm. Well, what the. What? 
<laughs> he didn't say anything. Geralt always says something. What? what? <laughs> huh. I guess that's just a no. Okay. Okay. And Jay, there's a knight with armor that can be found in the center of this place. Just gotta find the center of the realm. You know, that'd be great if we had a map. <laughs> I'm still very annoyed we don't have a map. Where the hell would be the center of this place? I have no freaking clue. <laughs> so, I mean, we were fairly deep in the forest that away. We love the wisp. I think it's got something to show us. Careful. It's not to be trusted. Oh, hold on. We're gonna have to actually do something with these freaking pixies. God, I hate these things. There we go. That one's down. She deserved, as I see it. Always took what she wanted without asking. No being here. Uh huh. Gotta keep looking. Oh, so now you finally talk about the dead woman in there. I agree, though. I agree, though. She just broke into that poor bear family's lair, started stealing their crap. <laughs> also, Jay, follow the wisp. Follow what wisp? I know I heard him say the thing, but I did not see a thing. I see no wisp. If I go like back in here. I see nothing but a unicorn roach butt. Ah. <laughs> uh... Well, you got me. I don't see a freaking wisp freaking anywhere. Back to Unicorn Roach. Let's go over here. There's a house just like right there. Why is Sienna going the other way? Sienna, what the balls? Uh, she's going to the other pixie. There we go, it's dead now. Okay, okay. Siana, you gonna actually go this way now? Oh, Jay, I ran about the night is south of Longlock's Tower. Okay, so that'd be this way. Alright, well, I'll explore the road this direction. Roach! Unicorn Roach! That is where the last bean is going to be, clearly. At Grandmama's house, which we're heading straight to now. Take it easy. Well, there's the wall. We're south of the tower. The balls. Get up. Oh, let's go over here. Hello, weird persons. Four stacked atop each other. What was the tale what? called again? The musicians of Blaviken. Huh. You've some link to the town as well, don't you? Mm -hmm. And the butcher of Blaviken, after all. Not much like this one. Weird. Weird. Hi, guys. How are all of you? <laughs> oh, I just got up here and they just went poof. How am I cruel if they just... No, nah, that's just... Oh, well. <laughs> By the lake north of me? What the hell are you talking about, Jack? Okay. I'm going to the lake over here. <laughs> nope, got him stuck on things. Well, I'm not seeing anything of what you're talking.
The one you pass the lake. Uh, Jay, you're gonna have to be you're gonna have to be more specific considering I'm seeing these things like after I already walk by things. <laughs> you said north of the tower, I went north of the tower, and there was nothing but the border. Then you said south of there, and we're south of there, and there's nothing. I'm just gonna stand here in this locale. You tell me where to go. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for the thing to catch up, because we are a little bit lagged. Where do I go from right where I'm standing right now? Because otherwise, I don't freaking know. <laughs> I'm gonna take a sip of my drink. <laughs> Alright. Jay, turn around and walk back. Walk back to where?! I mean, I'm not, I'm not seeing anything. Well, I'm about to give up on this because the balls. Hmm. I should be like go northwest and look around the shore, on the water there. Oh my god, back to the Blav- Also, the musicians of Blaviken? They were- uh, They were four animals stacked on top of one another. <laughs> Alright, where the hell did I find them? Right here? Okay, yeah, this sounds about right. Night's strange. Doesn't look like he's out of any fairy tale I know. Wonder how he got here. Who? In past times, Anorietta and I would occasionally run into them here. You see, knights errant far outnumber princesses in the real world. Mm -hmm. so some knights would sneak into the playroom, then into this land, in search of their fairy tale damsels. Now wow. I mean, shredded to bits by a swarm of pixies. Ionie's delicious. Okay, neat. So now I hear about the knight. Okay, thank you, Sienna. Also, wow, those. Is, I mean, I knew the knights errant of uh, the land where useless but they're trying to find their way into here Ooh, what the hell is this? It? once upon a time a terrible dragon attacked Vizima. it took a clever young cobbler to bring about its defeat uh -huh. right. every now and again some village idiot tries to imitate him and i gotta come in to clean up the mess yeah that sounds about right that sounds about right Oh, yeah, I'm not seeing this knight errant anywhere. Where the hell is this dude supposed to be? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. We want to go back here. We were heard the thing. The northwest will be over here. Should go back towards the dragon thing that we just went to. And Jay passed him by the water you walked past. Use Witcher senses there. Oh, look. I mean, that's definitely not a knight, but I'll take this. Sweet. Old looks, whatever's notes. It is seven years today since we last saw Siana and Anrietta. The spell is really starting to decay now. And some of the residents of this land are beginning to go mad. The wolf murdered Little Red Riding Hood. Nice. And the hunter, the witch, roasted Tom Thumb alive along with the seven Hangforsians. The pixies attack anyone who comes near. We sought shelter in the clouds, but the giant drove us away. Our last resort is the ship of King Thrushbeard. We are planning to wait the worst of it. Of it out in the middle of the lake. Interesting. Neat. Well, that was fun. How did I get out of here? Yep. Oh my god, how do I get how do I get out of this lake? Oh son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna have to swim all the way over here where there's a shore, aren't I? So all the rest of these things are just going to be a pain. There we go. Well. Hmm. 
Hmm. thing Okay, Jay, I'm not seeing this this dude anywhere. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. He's right in front of me. Okay, okay. There we go. <laughs> I was expecting an actual still standing knight I would have to kill, not a dead man. <laughs> Okay, let's go to the thing. Alright, there we go. Oh god, get through the freaking mushrooms for the love of crap. Over here. Over here. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, you actually climbed a rock for. Ah, it was useless. It was useless? Geralt, you useless climber, you. <laughs> Alright, what's in this house? Grandmama. Oh, hi, big bad wolf. What up? Hello. Can we talk? Shmooch, my head! Damn it all! I swear that was the last time I drank with Redbeard. Mm hmm Oh, Siana. A bloody long time it's been. You've changed. Whereas you, not at all, big bad wolf. Though it seems you've started running with the wrong crowd. Apparently. And who should I run with, eh? Thumbelina? <laughs> shot and she's under the table. Ha! Ah! But, but, but. What brings you? And Jay, I agree. That was a headache for the both of us. <laughs> hey, have a drink with us! You could always have a drink with us. Oh, what now? Not on your life. I can barely stand. I'm so hungover. Mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. what they say about the hair of the dog? Oh, yeah. Out of the question. And why must you drink? Do you wish to drown some sorrow? And I don't mean to pry, but you don't look much like a young duchess to me. They stripped me of my title and birthright, then banished me. A family spat, let's say. Mm hmm So, hey, looking for a bean? Listen, looking for magic beans. Seen any? Mm, I was given one for safekeeping, but... Yes? Where is it? Talk! Shh, not so loud. Oh, I can be much louder than this. And resort to other means of persuasion. Uh, right there, the threats. Sianna to a T. Listen, I exist to restage a fairy tale. Oh, if yeah. you want to play at it, I'll be happy to oblige. But it won't be easy. The thing is, little red riding hoods popped her clogs. Yeah. Huh. A thousand times they cut my gut open, filled it full of rocks, and drowned me in the river. So once you stopped coming, I decided to repay the little imp for all her loving labor. You know, fair, Good fair. Now, also at the bottom of the well, she and the hunter, which means we can't play, and I'm under no obligation to talk to you, not about beans, nor anything else. So leave me be. Sod off. I mean, I I could cut you open. <laughs> so, that's one prickly wolf. Hmm. Wolf's pretty cranky. Surprised? Think about it. He was cast in the role of the nemesis without ever asking for it. It's a dog's life, I tell you. <laughs> well, what now? So, what now? Don't worry. I'll play with him. Or rather, play him. I just need that little red hood. A piece of apparel, that is. Not the poor girl's corpse. That's a relief. You okay. wish to help me? Here's your chance. Jump in the well and fish it out. Well, chop chop. Uh, why do I gotta jump down the well? Alright, down we go. To find the hood from the corpse of Red Riding Hood. <laughs> great, great. Jump in the well. Break a leg. Down I go. I'm gonna hope not to break a leg. Oh, there she is. <laughs> okay, and we got the hunter too. Got it. All right. Now I gotta get the hell back out of here. Hmm. Oh god, I gotta go back under. Alright, hopefully we can swim through without dying. That'd be good. 
Okay, I think we're gonna be okay. I think we're gonna be okay. <laughs> yeah, we got plenty of breath. We're okay. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, hey, it's this like again. <laughs> I remember this. Okay. Any luck? Yep. Look what I got. Got a hood. That would never fit you. Give it to me. How do I look? You know what? Not bad. Not bad. I like it. Uh, you know what? Not bad at all. I like it. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's go see the big bad wolf. Let me guess. You'll play the granddaughter. Mm-hmm. And you, the hunter. Yeah, of course. Well, we'll kill the wolf. That works for me. <laughs> you again? I thought that was clear. I will not talk to you if little Red Riding Hood is not with you. Well, do you not see the hood? Not a problem. Sienna can take her place. What? <sighs> Very well. It's not as if I can forbid you. <laughs> Granddaughter, come <laughs> closer, sweetie. <laughs> Grandmama. What big eyes you have. This is just weird. I did see you with my dear. Granny, what big arms you have. The better to embrace you with, my dear. And Grandmama, what big teeth you have. I don't think Red Riding Hood usually had a sword. Yeah, uh huh. Eat Igni! <laughs> yeah, I don't think Red Riding Hood usually had a sword. I mean, I'm for it though. I'm for it though. Arm Red Riding Hood. <laughs> there we go. Just keep with the fire. Keep with the fire. There we are. Magnificent. There we go. We need to eat some fruit. And... Take that, big bad wolf! Whee! And... There we go. You're dead. Oh, we actually killed it. I figured it'd be a, oh no, <laughs> sort of a thing. Remember said about the red bee? A human has it, and he definitely didn't swallow it. Mm-hmm. Gotta open his belly. Oh, great, 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 great. Bottle caps, fake teeth, a corkscrew. <laughs> ah, here it is. Red bean. Horrifying. Ah, hey, I love the two. we have them all. Oh god, I forgot to spend points again. Okay, you're ha you you don't seem happy. Now I find myself wondering if you're just horribly discreet or if those mutations completely scrubbed away your curiosity. Oh no, I'm very I'm curious. Really not interested in what happened. In what became of me after they cast me out? Oh no, I'm very intrigued. Uh yeah, tell me what happened. I want to know. Well, since you brought it up, I'd gladly hear the rest. Let's see. They had escorted you out of the duchy. Yes. And the noble knights of Toussaint and I didn't stop until we reached the Ketdu wilderness. They left me there alone. Without a copper. In a torn lace dress. Right when the frosts were setting in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They assumed something would eat me. Or that I'd do everyone a favor and die of hunger. But as always, I failed to live up to expectations. I wandered the woods for a week, went purple from the cold, gnawed the bark from twigs. Finally, I saw a light among the trees, a campsite. They were bandits, bearded, drunk, spattered with blood. I was sure they'd rape me or kill me, or both. Take it neither happened? That's when I learned a robber and a murderer can be a better man than a knight in shining armor. Okay. They took me in, we set off for Nazaire, and I did what I could to repay them. I advanced in their ranks rather quickly. Eventually, I became their leader of the whole ragged band. Nice! Maybe you should have stayed there. 
Should have stayed there, maybe. Perhaps. Perhaps I should have forgotten everything, started a new life. But you know what? There came a point when I thought, you wanted a monster. Then a monster you shall get. Well, that seems cliche. That seems way too cliche. And also, Jay would have been simpler if Red Riding Hood had a sword. I mean, I agree. <laughs> and E. Weasel, I don't think Huntsman had Igni. How do you know? How do you know he didn't? The Huntsman could have been a witcher all along. So, hey, been through a lot there. Been through a lot. I have. And throughout this time, my sister was stomping grapes and shagging minstrels on down bedding. She wasn't the one to banish you. And I'm not angry at her for that. I'm angry at her because she forgot about me. Right. We've had our chat. Come. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm gonna loot. The, I'm gonna loot him first, though, before we go, because I mean, I also got a fake tooth there. Weird. All right. Well, where are we going? Plant the magic beans. Neat. Where's my unicorn? That's Sienna's. Why does my unicorn suddenly have all of... Also, it's kind of glitching out. You can see our normal roach through the unicorn roach. <laughs> it's kind of glitching. Magnificent. Roach is too powerful for this fantasy world. He will show up anywhere. <laughs> Glorious. Sienna, to your pink unicorn. Oh my god, yeah, look at his mane. <laughs> Love it. Let's Love go. it. Roach is far too powerful for this world. A fair point, Ewe, so I always forget that Roach is a she. So she is too powerful for this world. All right. Right. This is the spot. Pull out the beans. Got it. Beans ho. Roach. I'm glad you joined me here. <laughs> oh, great. More pixies. God damn. Freaking pixies. Oh. Oh god, oh god, okay, there's a lot of them this time. There's a lot of them this time! Oop. Okay, 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 that's a whole hell of a lot of them. Oop. And... There we go. There we go. Oh god, oh god, Sienna, stay alive over there! Love the red hood you're wearing now, by the way. I mean, I know I said it earlier, but it's it's great. I really wish, personally, that capes and hoods would come back. I think it'd be wonderful. I would love to wear that sort of a thing. <laughs> Alright, we're good. We're alive. Okay, now we have a big circle area. Oh, there we go. Plant the beans! Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wait. Whoa. Why? The stalk will sprout abruptly. Very abruptly. We must be careful. Oh, oh, got it. Got it. Okay. So you run away. Thanks. Awesome. So it's gonna oh, like slam me in the it. face. <laughs> Hiding behind a wall. Run! <laughs> Well, I think you lied to me, Sienna. Uh, something went wrong? I'm gonna walk up to him and it's gonna, like, now pop and smack me in the face, isn't it? Uh, something's always gotta go wrong. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> I love that, though. Something's always gotta go wrong, doesn't it? Dude, I'm pretty sure you just grabbed her, like, where you shouldn't have when you tried to push her backwards there. Who <laughs> cares? It's, uh, ooh, Okay, climb the stalk. 
into the clouds. Oh, are we gonna meet the giant? Oh, cool. I hope we do. You know, this is very unsafe. This is definitely not OSHA certified. All right, you've made it. Congratulations. Incredible. I mean, it's a really rundown castle. Is it really that incredible? Admire the view later. First, we must deal with. Him. No, oh, great. Great, cool. Hi, friend. Can't we just talk? I mean, I just got up here. Could we at least stop and have some tea or something? Have a little conversation? No, you're just straight up cloud giant. Ah, uh, great, 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 great. Oh boy. Oh god, what the hell? Oh god! Alright, alright, he's got powers. The cloud giant is more impressive than. Oh, and he's also burning really well, though. Yeah, he's burning real well. I don't like his whole lightning thing, though. It's pretty annoying. There we go. Yeah, he burns real well, though. Igneum is magnificent. Okay, okay. Please stop smacking me! Oh, God, Al. Oh, boy. Okay, Igni is working very well on it. And he's dead. Die, Cloud Giant. Die. Loot him, loot him, loot him, loot him, loot him. Oh, I can't, couldn't see the loot. No. For a fairy tale creature, that was one tough son of a wench. I mean, he really I wasn't. This land had gone eight mad, though I did not expect it to be so severe. Can't help thinking you might have done that on purpose. Why ever would I have? To get rid of your guard, your captor. Getting close to the exit at this point. Probably think you don't need me anymore. I mean, fair. No, you're wrong. You still stand to be quite useful to me. I'm still a little worried that she's falling for me, which is bad because I've already got a lady. Uh, useful how? That's so? How? Plan to use me like you did Deadloff? No, I need you for a purpose far simpler. Uh-oh. Well, don't just stand there and stare. I need a man, Geralt. I am taken, it's madam. It. I have no idea what awaits me once we leave this place. Treat it as my last wish. I am ta Let her have her way with you? No, I am taken. I have a lovely witch lady. <laughs> Uh, some other time, babe. Really? Some other time? Another no, time. you just tell no her no. Offense, I got a lady. No offense. None taken. You spoke clearly, you spoke honestly. It's fine. He really didn't speak clearly and honestly. He should have said, I already have a sorceress. That's my jam. So, uh, no. <laughs> Instead, he said, some other time. Ah, <sighs> boy. Oh well. Let's go to the decrepit castle. Loot this guy. I said loot him. Loot. Oh boy, his corpse is gigantic. Can I not loot him? Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Well, follow Siana, I guess. Oh, hey, a wisp. Finally, I see one. Hmm. Just curious. Neat. Why do you want the heart of Toussaint? Indeed. Do you go wine? Indeed. Am I right, my Jew. Doubt we would have figured you out if you hadn't tried to get them. Yeah, we really wouldn't have. I do, and I regret nothing. One lives but once. I mean, fair, you, yolo and all. Need but jump into the well. You first. Oh wait, what? What well? What well? Oh, this well. Why me first? Is there something horrible? Also, I need to loot. Let's take a look around the place. 
I mean, Jay did say I don't, can't leave with anything from here, but, you know, I still got a loot. <laughs> Not seeing anything, so you know what? I think we just need to jump into the into the well. Hmm. Hmm. Yep, to the well. <laughs> Not seeing anything lootable. Sad, Geralt. <laughs> Alright. Well, see you on it. In we go. Wee. Hopefully that was the right move. <laughs> Watch, I just fell through a well to my death and now she's on her own. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Back to the real world. And to Detloff. Which we still have to get Detloff. Oh, everything's on fire. Yeah, we're back to hell. I.e. the real world. Oh. Really? We don't we didn't come back out at the book? Oh, she doesn't have her cape. The cape looked great on fountain. her. Not terribly practical. Really not. There's a secret passage. Anariette and I would use it to hide from your governess. Which luckily she noted down in her diary, thus uh -huh. you where to await you. Wonderful, good man, Regis. Uh, never mind that. Has the young lady agreed to help clean up the mess she's made? She has. And stop treating me as if I were a child. Would you prefer I treated you like the lying manipulator you are? Ooh, I like you, Regis. Regis, I like you. <laughs> I kind of like number three, but I probably should play the diplomat on this because, well, frankly, yes, Yona, he's a super powerful vampire. Uh, don't, but yeah, both of you stop. <laughs> Calm down, both of you. But. No buts. Let's go. Really want to be done with this. <laughs> Siana! Come on! Well, now where? You know, Joseph, you just got back from a concert. How's the game going? Game's going well. And you, oh, oh, you went to Postmodern Jukebox? Oh, I love Postmodern Jukebox. Sweet, man. Very cool. You know, I haven't listened to them in a bit. I should go and listen to them some tomorrow. I got a couple of their albums on my, uh, on my computer. Hmm. Love that old stuff, man. You know, modern songs done in old styles. It's hilariously wonderful. Nice place, mm -hmm. isn't it? Offers a lovely view of the valley. On a clear day, you can see the outlines of Duntine. Neat. Anyways, well, you really should look up Postmodern Jukebox. They're great. Is it, though? A ruin like any other, I think. Uh, so sensitive, so aware. Honestly, what did Declan ever see in you? I don't know, Perhaps man. He'll tell you himself. Nervous, Sienna. You nervous? Mm hmm. It's always a bit nerve wracking meeting an ex, especially so when said ex is a vampire. True. I don't True. he'll be in the mood for jests. I know. Ugh. May I be honest? Yes, I'm nervous. I really would prefer just to run off. I gave my word I would help. Wonderful. Know, but how much is that worth? Yet I owe him this meeting. And that is that. All right. Well, Detlaf, get ready. Detlaf will be here any minute. And also, Jay, listen to bardcore medieval versions of modern songs. You know, that sounds familiar. I think I have heard them, but I'll have to look them up later just to be sure. But that does sound fun, too. Let's get ready. Deadlove will be here any moment now. Can I make sure I have all my potions and bombs? Oh, she's uh, trying to hide. Oh, okay, okay. Fade to win. Ah, the raven. Hmm. 
Well. So is Detlov never coming? Ah, oh, here he comes. Okay, wonderful. Took your sweet time, Tetloff! Ren. Sianna. Sianna. I have a question I must ask you. Did you truly feign it all? That which bound us was a ruse. Tetloff, it's not that simple. No, it is. It is. Oh, she no. did. It's very simple. You either deceived me or not. In forgiving you, I grieve. For now, we must part. What? What? Roy. What? But how? Why is she back in the weird fantasy world? What? What? The ribbon. Seems I've been fooled again. Oh, the ribbon. She the will ribbon. pay for this sooner or later. She will pay. You never should have meddled with her. Oh, I guess it's time to kill Detloff. Oh, boy. Oh, Regis. Oh, Regis, I love you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, are we gonna fight alongside Regis? Cool. No, oh, I'm in it! I'm in it! Help Regis! You know, I was able to run and then it immediately took me out of the fight. What the hell? <laughs> I had like two seconds of control, and then it was all gone. Oh no, Regis! There we go. Oh, nice! Regis! Do it, Regis! Do it! Oh, dang it! No, Regis! You fool, Regis. Well, look at it's just me now. And Igni. Uh-oh. Oh. Fire! <laughs> what? Why does it keep taking me out of it like every two seconds? What the hell? <laughs> I get like two seconds of play and then immediately to another cutscene. Okay, well, he's new. Ooh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Start praying now. Oh, this doesn't look good. Well, fire works well. It did some good damage on him. Not as much as I was hoping it would. Oh, God. Okay, okay. Potion. Oh boy, oh boy, this is gonna be this is gonna be a pain, isn't it? Oh yeah, this is gonna be a real pain! Oh boy! There we go, that was some good damage. Now I need to roll around for a bit and heal. Heal, I say. Okay, more fire. Oh. oh boy, oh boy. Oh no, I got one of the things. I got one of the blood pools. I've been trying to avoid those and I rolled right into it. Oh no, 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 no. There we go, fire. Fire is glorious. Fire is the best. Igni is my friend. Oh boy, he got me with those. Whoa! Well, the fire was a little bit off there. Oh god, I'm in the friggin' blood pool again. Oh 
Oh, jeez. Oh, God. I'm glad I just took that potion I did. Okay, and... There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Heal up. Oh, Jesus. Okay, okay, okay. This is bad. This is bad. I'm now out of the... The white red for potions. Oh, boy. Gotta wait till he's on the ground. Well, and fire. Got like a good hit in there too. Lovely. Ah oh boy. Ah oh boy. And roll. Roll. Nope. I can never seem to get that at the right point. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh, I actually dodged it for a change. Nice. And fire. Ow. Okay, okay, okay. We're, we're doing good damage to Detloff, but I'm running low on potions. Dodge. Ha ha. I learned the timing on that. Oh god, I'm in one of the blood pools again. Aw, oh, crap. And... Okay, and he's in another zone. Oh boy, oh boy. He's in, a, he's in another phase. Oh, this isn't good. How dare you bite me! No, Igni, you fool. Not Axie. Igni! Burn the bastard. Oh, this doesn't look good. This doesn't look good. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. What the hell? Uh, okay. Fire. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Oh boy, oh boy, I don't I don't like this. I don't like this in the slightest. There we go. Oh, Dead Love's like here. Hello. Shut that. <laughs> Okay, okay, so we got, like, the things. There we go, there we go. Take that, nice, nice, that was probably a bit much. Probably a bit much, let's avoid this thing for a little bit while I heal. Oh, and... Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Chuck that. There we go, there we go. Chuck another. There we go, okay, back over here. Oh god, him and his stupid blood. Uh, Jesus. Okay, and... All the bombs! <laughs> Chug that! I'm definitely hurting myself quite a bit on this too, but... Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. And... Okay, okay, roll away, heal up, heal up, heal up. Oh, 
Oh boy. Roll. Roll, you fool. There we go. There we go. We only got one organ left over here. This thing. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, go for the organelle. Go for the organelle. Yes! Beautiful. This doesn't seem good. Roll! Oh, hi, Detloff! Burn! Oh my god, we did it. <laughs> well, that was an interesting fight. Regis! Regis, my friend! Wait, Geralt, Igneum once or twice more, please. a fun boss. Difficult, though. The The last part was real weird. <laughs> like, what, inside of him or something? I have no idea. <coughs> hey, Detloff? Uh, bad move, dude. Bad move. Leave him to me. Okay. Be gone. I can't let him. I insist. All right, Regis. All right. You do you. You do you, friend. It seems to be reforming. Oh. Oh. Ah, Regis, I'm sorry you had to do that, friend. I need his head, though. The Duchess kind of wants his head. No, no, we're just going to walk away. Ah, oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> well, that was a thing. That was a thing that happens. I guess we're just seeing this through at this point because there really hasn't been a good point to stop at. And, I mean, I know we're past 10, but, um, yeah, I think we're just going to be finishing this up tonight. <laughs> oh, poor Regis. I feel bad for him having to kill his friend like that. I mean, I know Detloff went all cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, but, um... Yeah, still. Poor Regis. Oh. Two weeks later? What? Oh, 53. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, I forgot My, to... What a smashing ensemble. You wear it well. Shut up. I'm like <laughs> a twit. The caftan is sewn of the best fabrics available, and according to the best tailoring practices. Yeah, I'm sure. But... One must have a modicum of taste to appreciate this. Ha! Even the most exquisite robes cover only deficiencies in beauty, never in refinement. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Used to wearing something different. Usually wear something different, better suited to my trade. Got nothing against this particular outfit, though. Just don't exactly feel comfortable in it. And I despise formal occasions. Hmm. Nothing one can't get accustomed to. Now, be so kind as to stand still. All that being as it may, Toussaint's highest honor, the Order of Vitis Vinifera... Did really? That's the name of the order they're going with? Attire. The Duchess cannot be expected to drape the medal on a suit of armor caked in mud. I mean, why not? Palace protocol places enormous emphasis on form, virtuous tradition, etiquette. Huh. A tradition which values appearances ahead of all else. Which calls for lordly, glistening triviality and misplaced generosity. I know, right? 
Also, I'm still going with really. They called us the they called it the Order of Vitis Vinifera, the name of like the main European grape variety. It, it, she, I, Jesus, I mean, come on, really? <laughs> oh, number two. Sound wistful, pensive, Regis. That because they refuse to buy you a new outfit. Hi. Ah. It's the tone I ever adopt when I find myself pondering, which, believe it or not, happens quite a lot. You pondering Besides, now. I've no need for a new outfit as I shall not be attending the ceremony. Why not? Because unlike you, I don't have to. I shall begin to pack my belongings instead. I trust you'll join me later, once you're richer by a medal and a fascinating new experience. Count on it. Okay. Uh, reminds me, though, apparently. Hmm. Ceremonies. Medals honoring virtues just keeps coming up. I've had no reprieve either. And I keep thinking of the last great virtue, compassion. Mm -hmm. It's the one piece of the puzzle that never seemed to fit. Mean you suddenly believe the five virtues theory after all we've revealed? It's not a question of belief, superstition, or old wives' tales. It's a conclusion derived through exercising pure logic. Siana planned everything in advance. Had we not stopped her? Surely there'd have been a fifth victim. One the gossips would have associated with a lack of compassion. Her plans don't matter now. Can't act on them. Ask the messenger who delivered my invitation to the ceremony. Siana's in the palace. Courtiers pressured the Duchess to lock her in a tower. Do you care not a whit who else was in her black book? We've some time before the ceremony. We could still chat with that boot-cleaning urchin. He was the one to pass the victim's uh -huh. names to Detlaf. Perhaps we missed something. Oh my. Oh my, do we hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'm and yeah, though how do you know the boot lick or the the boot black, rather, delivered the letters? Regis, Boot Black didn't say anything about making deliveries when we talked to him. How do you know he handled the letters? While you basked in glory and tried on new formal wear, I conducted a little investigation of my own. Did you know? You'd be very proud to see how I conducted myself. I began by concocting an ample supply of boot wash for our enterprising young friend. Did she? Of course she did. I observed <laughs> that among street folk, amidst their society as a whole, reciprocity takes precedence over all other codes, and thus no good deed goes unrewarded. Mm -hmm. Of course, the same holds true for malicious or destructive deeds. Do true, do true. The letters, what's the connection? When the boot black arrived to collect his bucket full, he hinted he knew more. Simply put, we'd failed to ask the proper questions when we chatted earlier. It took a bit more tongue loosening, but ultimately he spoke. He admitted he'd handed Detlaf the letters. He knew this information was valuable to me. In providing it, he was simply repaying me. Okay. Oh, and Jay. Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to have to look into who. Uh, yeah, no, definitely, definitely number one. All in all, why not check up on that? We'll go together. Assuming we're done here. I am done, yes. It lies in your hands now to see if you are able to present my handiwork at the ceremony with the dignity it is due. I will not. <laughs> or if you will first destroy it, crawling about the city's underbelly. That seems more likely, yes. To be careful. I will not. It's going to be pull me back into like another cutscene or am I going to be in the world because I I would really prefer to stop and then do this next time. And now that we're investigating more. <laughs> but I have a feeling we're just going to be pulled into another cutscene here. Uh but, yep, yep. There we go. Hi. Hi, friend. It's the swordsman. Good to see you. Here for a spiffing? Dirty boots are a stain on professional dignity, you know. Yeah. Pull up. Need to ask you something. Yet again? Go on, then. I'm a proponent of free speech, and I will gladly tell you all I know. But why not get your boots shanked while we jabber? I mean, fair. Guess they could use a spit and polish. Then I shall take advantage as well. A friend of mine used to say boots should be as clean as the souls that wear them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Clean boots, clean souls. A fine slogan. Really, really wish this was at a different point here. So how's business, kid? How's business? Well enough. I can't complain. Though it'd be even better for certain folk to sit down for a shine as they stood and chatted. 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I thought you were gonna move into, like, a better place after all that money we gave you to buy better stuff. <sighs> but hey, the letters. Man in the frock coat. You passed him some letters, remember? Why, of course. I'm young. Got a mind like a steel trap, but... If you're about to tell me this information will cost me, forget it. We already paid you a lot to be staying at the same How place. How did you get those letters? Beckers brought them. Why didn't you tell us this before, when we first talked? You didn't ask about beggars now, did you? True. Alright. Beggars. Tell us more about them. How many were there? Why, four. One for each letter. Just four? Sure you didn't get a fifth? I can count, you know. Remember anything else? These beggars have anything in common? What? Come now. It was different. Some had mismatched boots, others had no boots at all. Of course, that's the thing he notices. I know! They all had no home! Kid, my patience is starting to run a little thin. Now think hard. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Remember what they looked like? Remember what they looked like? Of course. I have a mind like a steel trap as you I You already said. said that. They were ragged, unshaved. Their clothes were tattered. As to their boots, well, I mentioned that already. Yeah. Geralt, allow me to ask a question. Listen, lad. I'll be glad to mix another batch of that boot shine for you. But you must focus now and tell us all you know. Where can we find the beggars? Well, at the shelter, most like. Where's that? Everyone knows. It's just round the corner. Up those stairs, then right. Sweet. Thank Thanks, you. Kid. For your trouble. We must visit the shelter. Look around inside. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We'll do that next time. Hey, we actually have a point where we can stop. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> okay, so next episode, we'll continue on with this. And try and figure out what's going on with the fifth letter. I have a feeling I know where it's going, but let's see. Let's see. But that is going to be it for this one tonight. Hopefully you all have enjoyed, and yet do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, well, have a good one.